my beautiful butterflies welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Beverly and it is lovely to see you today in this video we're talking about self-care when you are a carer so grab a cup of tea let's get to it now before I begin I do have to point out the fact that about a metre behind me, behind this wall, there's a big football match going on. I live next door to two football fields and there's currently a match going on. So if you hear clapping, whistling, people saying anything, shouting, whatever, there's nothing I can do about it and I apologise. While you're thinking about that, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Let's get to it, shall we? So when you think about self-care, as a carer you have to remember a couple of things one is that things like having a luxurious bath <laughs> it's not an option because if you're looking after someone say a child with learning disabilities a disabled parent like me a husband a wife if you're looking after someone who is disabled you don't have all that much time and also it has to be that sometimes you're in the middle of having a nice bath and that person needs you and so if we're talking about self-care it's not the sort of thing that you can do it also can't cost too much because a lot of us carers we don't get a lot of money for caring for our relatives i don't get any my mom keeps the money because she pays for little things with it so we do have carers allowance here but it's not a lot of money and if you do get it then it's it doesn't stretch too far so because of that it can't be things that cost too much money so i've had a little think get ready because i've got some ideas for you the first one is things that you enjoy doing for example face products you know moisturizers hot drinks if you love a cup of tea if you love having a nice you know nice shower gel spend as much money as you can on that thing don't skimp just because you feel guilty that you're treating yourself treating yourself to everyday things is what you should be doing make your showers feel special make that cup of tea because you've used loose leaf tea which i personally love to do make that a special thing make that something that you can do that feels like a little thing that makes you feel special you know spend a bit extra on that dress you like or you know those clothes you like like i love wearing pretty dresses it makes me feel so happy and so yeah i don't have a lot of extra money to spend on things like this but the stuff that I do get is usually true vintage it's usually nice things I also treat myself to like a nice hot chocolate and then little things like to most people every, you know people who aren't a carer they'd be like little things that they wouldn't even think about but to me it's part of making me feel good making me feel special and making me feel like yeah you're doing a good job you're doing your best you are worthwhile you are worthwhile by the way you are you're a carer you're doing an amazing job looking after yourself is a big thing and you are doing an amazing job so you are worth spending that little bit extra on and getting yourself something that you really like that can make you feel good another thing i would say is take time for yourself now for me this is going to bed early i like to be in bed for like eight o'clock half past eight i like to be upstairs getting ready mom get her settled in bed get the dogs wrangled and settled and then i like to come into my bedroom do a little bit of bedtime yin yoga just stretch my muscles do a little bit of exercise sometimes i meditate a little bit and then i like to wash my face do all that kind of thing and then get into bed and watch my tv shows in bed it's it feels amazing if you're a night owl it might be that you like to stay up past everyone else's bedtime and watch a movie or watch your tv shows or you like to i don't know <laughs> i don't know what you could possibly want to do but take that time for yourself make sure you carve out at least 10 15 minutes every day just for you to feel like you're again worthy to feel because you are we are worthy and we all need a little bit of time and space even if it's just locking yourself in the bathroom every day and meditating for five minutes even if it you know whatever it is taking some time and being separate from the person you're caring for is so important for our mental health it helps us recharge it helps us lift up again and just 
get a little bit of that zest back into us because it can be exhausting being a carer. I'm lucky, my mum takes care of herself for like 90% of the time. She just needs a little bit of help here and there, but I know as she gets older that will become more. And so getting into good routines now is so important to me. Remembering that I need to carve out time for myself means so much to me and letting them know is important because it's so easy for them to be like where have you been what are you doing whereas you can just say you know what I just need to go and have five minutes I'm going to grab a cup of tea and go and sit in my bedroom for five minutes and just chill you know you've got nothing to feel guilty for or bad about it's it's what you need for your mental health so do it the next thing is your bedroom your space wherever it be keep it tidy I know that you're tired at the end of the day and you just kind of throw your clothes onto the spare chair or onto the wardrobe or onto the floor because you don't have the energy. But think about it like this, it's not relaxing if it's messy. Taking that extra minute just to hang up your clothing or fold up that t-shirt is going to make such a big difference. Having a space that is tidy and decorated, if you have the money to decorate, maybe give it a little facelift get some nice cushions from somewhere, thrift a nice throw to go on your bed. Whatever you need to do to make your space feel relaxing and calm, so important because that is one of the first things that I did. When we moved in, we lived in, me and my husband lived in my old childhood bedroom and I was struggling with that. We didn't have the space, we're on top of each other, stuff was everywhere, it was just a complete nightmare. And if you watched my bedroom makeover video, we swapped rooms with my mom. Now we have the bigger room and everything's put away. Everything's got a place. I've got a desk. I've got, you know, bookcases here. I've got everything's here. And it feels so much more relaxing. I can come in and just chill, you know, and it feels really nice. Having that space for yourself where you can relax, so important, so important. The next thing I'm going to say is showers. Now, a lot of us kind of rush through our shower routine and I was guilty of this, but now I don't. And I've got some tips for you. Buy yourself some nice shampoo and conditioner. Buy yourself some nice shower gel or even some nice soap that you love and make it a ritual, like a self-love, self-calming, just lovely ritual. Also, a little tip. I haven't tried it yet myself but I'm dying to. You can get like, you know you can get bath bombs. Well they do like bath bombs but it's like a powder. I, if I can find a picture I will display here but if not I hope it makes sense. Anyway it's like bath salts. If you sprinkle them onto the shower, like in the bottom of the shower, not near the drain but on the outside, when you turn on your shower the steam from that shower is going to lift up the smell and it's going you're going to get all that goodness that you would have got in the bath but it's on the shower floor i'm dying to try this let me know if you've tried this and if it works for you because it just sounds lovely just having lovely bath crystals around and it just mm, just the smell feeling getting those good vibes I, I'm dying to try this. I'm dying to, when the shops are open, which is tomorrow, <gasps> when the shops are open, I think me and my husband are going to have like a date day and we're going into town and I'm going to do lots of thrifting. So thrifting videos will hopefully return to the channel very soon. But yeah, I'll be able to go thrifting, but also I'll be able to find some bath crystals to try this one. And lastly, it's hobbies. Now, full-time care work and hobbies kind of it feels like they don't go together but if you can find like if you enjoy doing a jigsaw for example or you enjoy reading a good book or playing chess or playing games on your ipad whatever it can be maybe watching youtube videos on your on your phone whatever it is that you really love doing and really enjoy making maybe it's making cards maybe it's writing letters to pen pals. I think this is a really lovely, lovely thing to do for yourself. Finding time, again, to just relax and do something for yourself is lovely. Now, if you can bring in the person that you're caring for as well, that's just a bonus, extra time with that person. So if you say, for example, if you both like doing jigsaws, taking that time just away from TV screens away from everything and doing a jigsaw, so fun. 
colouring in I love adult colouring this is my hobby is adult colouring and I will often sit down my mum will be having a cup of coffee and I will sit in the sunroom with her and colour in while she has a coffee and we just chit chat or laugh at the dogs laugh at the dogs mainly but we just like to have a chit chat and it's just a really really lovely way of just bonding with her but if that person is unable to do those things then maybe just taking that time for yourself to have a little hobby time so important so cool I really hope that you will be able to do this because <laughs> for me colouring has saved my life it gives me that mindful moment and I can just kind of decompress just brilliant I love it I really hope that this video gives you some ideas some different ways of looking after yourself because as carers we all need to remember that we are worth the world literally this how would the world how would England as an English person and a lot of people that watch my videos are English just think about how we would get along without carers in the house without that husband or mother or father looking after people children looking after parents how would we get along we don't have the resources to pay for everyone to have nurses and doctors and nursing homes and hospital care it's just not possible and without carers we'd be on our knees so it's so important that we look after ourselves keep ourselves as healthy as possible so that we can do our best and enjoy life your life is just as worthy as theirs if you got something out of this video and i hope you did do not forget to head down there and leave it a cheeky little like so i know you enjoyed it and i can bring more content like this to my channel being a carer has been an amazing journey i've loved becoming a carer and it's something that is hard work sometimes and I don't want to deal with it sometimes but it's taught me so much about myself so if you are a carer if you have carers and you haven't thought of these things you know or if you just want more ideas of how to take care of yourself this is the place leave me a comment down below and we can get talking about it let me know if there's any things that you do to look after yourself and how you feel about this if you feel like you would maybe feel guilty or you don't quite know how to deal with it let me know while you're down there don't forget to hit that little subscribe button we are in the thousands now we're we're just over a thousand subscribers and yet still a lot of people who watch my videos are not yet subscribed so don't forget to hit that little subscribe button and ring that little bell so you always know when I upload I'm usually here Mondays and Fridays I do my very best every week to be with you twice a week I really hope that if you're a carer you know how important you are you are special and wonderful it takes a lot of love and compassion to do that so give yourself a little pat on the back make sure that you just take it five minutes kick your feet up and check out this playlist that I put together for you I hope that you'll enjoy it and I'm sending you all so much love have a wonderful week I'll see you next time bye